this video, I will be performing the CNA testable skill for the state of Texas assist with use of bedpan. This skill is performed on a live person and it is assumed that the person is not wearing undergarments. For this training video, I will be performing this task on a mannequin. Because this is a training video, I insist that you train along with me. So as I gather my supplies, I want you to gather your supplies. And as I do each individual step, I want you to do those steps right along with me. Okay? So, let's go ahead and look at the supplies that we will need. We will need two pairs of gloves, toilet paper, hand wipes, and a standard bedpan. During testing, you will be given the option to choose between two bedpans, a fractured bedpan and a standard bedpan. You must select the standard bedpan. This is the larger of the two bedpans. So I'm just going to go ahead and set aside the fractured bedpan. Okay, I think we can get started. Again, let's go through the supplies and as I list the supplies, go ahead and gather them. You will need two pairs of gloves, toilet paper, hand wipes, and a standard bedpan. I'll give you a few minutes to gather your supplies. Okay, now that we all have our supplies together, let's go ahead and get started. Now, before you enter into any resident's room, you want to knock on the door and wait for a response. If you do not hear a response, knock again. At this time, you can enter into the resident's room. Upon entering, you will want to introduce yourself by both name and title. Hi, Mrs. Jones. My name is Julie, and I'm your CNA today. After the introduction, you want to explain the procedure to the resident. Mrs. Jones, the nurse has asked me to come in and assist you with the bedpan. Is that okay? Now that you've introduced yourself and you've explained the procedure to the resident, you want to get in the habit of identifying the resident. The reason we want to identify the resident is because we want to make sure that we're rendering the right care to the right resident. Mrs. Jones, is it okay if I check your ID bracelet? Thank you. All right, Ms. Jones, I just want to make sure that I'm giving the right care to the right resident. Now, you may go ahead and provide the resident with privacy by closing the door and the privacy curtain. This is also a good time for you to do a quick safety check. Ensure that the brakes on the bed wheels are locked, bed is in the lowest prescribed position, and the resident has his or her call light. Mrs. Jones, I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands and gather my supplies. Before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and provide you privacy by closing your door and your privacy curtain. And I'm just going to do a quick safety check. I want to make sure that the brakes on the bed wheels are locked. Bed is in the lowest prescribed position. And then you have your call light right here. If you need me before I return, just go ahead and push this button, okay? All right, I'm going to go gather my supplies, and I'll be right back. Hi, Mrs. Jones. I've got my supplies, and I'm ready to get you on the bed pad, okay? 
Before you place the bed pan underneath the resident, you want to make sure that you lower the head of bed. Mrs. Jones, I'm going to go ahead and lower your head of bed. And Mrs. Jones, I'm just going to raise the bed to a height that's comfortable for me to perform this task, okay? You not only want to think about the resident's safety, but you want to think about your own safety. You don't want to strain any back or leg muscles. So you want to make sure that you apply proper body mechanics. If it's going to be more comfortable for you to raise the bed at a height uh, that will help you uh, perform the task, go ahead and do so. Okay, Mrs. Jones, I think that's high enough for me. I'm just going to take your call light and place it here. Now, before you handle the bedpan, you have to don or put on clean gloves. So let's go ahead and put on our gloves. Now, before I actually place the bedpan, underneath Mrs. Jones, I just want to bring to your attention the shape of the bedpan. Uh, the bedpan has a wide area and a narrow area. When placing the bedpan underneath the resident, you want to make sure that the wide area is towards the headboard and the narrow area is facing towards the footboard. This is the correct placement of the bedpan. If you do not correctly place the bedpan underneath the resident, you will not receive credit for that step. And this is a critical or bolded step. Now, you want to make sure that you do not overexpose the resident. So I had Ms. Jones to bend her knees. Her feet are flat on the mattress. And I'm going to ask her to raise her hips. Mrs. Jones, could you raise your hips for me, please? As the resident raises his or her hips, I want to make sure that their gown is not underneath them as I place the bed pin. Okay. Again, you do not want to overexpose the resident. Now, before I raise the head of bed, I'm going to remove my gloves in a method that will not self-contaminate myself. I will dispose of these gloves in the trash can, and I will verbalize, I will wash my hands. Mrs. Jones, I'm going to go ahead and raise your head of bed. I just want to make sure that you're in the most normal position to help you use the restroom. You can let me know when it's at a good height for you. Is that good? Okay. All right, Mrs. Jones, I'm just going to give you your call light. I'm gonna lower your bed in the lowest position for safety. If you raise the bed, remember to lower it before you walk away from the resident. Okay, Mrs. Jones. When you're done, Mrs. Jones, just press this button, okay? Here's your toilet paper and hand wipes. Now, before you leave the room, you want to make sure that you instruct the resident to use the hand wipes to clean her hands when she's finished. Mrs. Jones, with these hand wipes, I want you to clean your hands when you finish, okay? Okay, I'm just going to go step behind your curtain to give you more privacy. Mrs. Jones, I heard your call light going off. I'm just going to close your curtain. Your door is still closed. 
we'll go ahead and remove the bed pan, okay? Now before removing the bed pan, you want to make sure that you lower the resident's head of bed. The head of bed has to be lowered before placing the bed pan and before removing the bed pan. Okay, Mrs. Jones, I'm just going to take your call light and place it here right next to you on the bed, okay? You want to make sure before you handle the bedpan again, you put on a clean pair of gloves. Again, I will ask the resident to bend their knees okay, and to raise their hips. Mrs. Jones, can you raise your hips for me? Now, as the resident is raising their hips, I want to make sure that I have a good grasp on this bedpan because I do not want the contents to spill over, okay? Go ahead and raise your hips, Mrs. Jones. All right, thank you. Mrs. Jones, I'm gonna go ahead and empty and clean out this bedpan and put away my supplies. When I come back, I will put you in a position of comfort, okay? Okay, I'm going to place my supplies in the designated dirty. The contents of the bedpan needs to be emptied in the toilet. During testing, there will be signage labeled toilet. This is where you will empty the contents of the bedpan. After emptying the contents into the toilet, I will now rinse out the bedpan. This rinse must also be emptied in the toilet. If you empty the contents of the bedpan or the rinse into the sink, you will not receive credit for this step. So it's very important to remember Contents of bedpan and the rinse must be emptied in the toilet. At this time, without drying the bedpan, I'm going to place it in the designated dirty area. I will remove my gloves without contaminating myself, dispose of those gloves, verbalize, I will wash my hands, and now I can get back to Mrs. Jones and get her in a comfortable position. Hi, Mrs. Jones, I'm back. I'm just gonna go ahead and get you in a comfortable position. Would you like to keep your head lowered or do you want me to raise it up a bit? Okay, Mrs. Jones. Well, here's your call light. You can just press this button if you need anything, okay? Your bed is already in the lowest prescribed position. It remains locked. I'm going to go ahead and open your privacy curtain and your door so you can see out. I will verbalize washing my hands. Skill complete. 